So uh, today I am going to start uh, discuss central venous pressure or jugular venous pressure. So CVP or JVP is the uh, estimation of the pressure of the right atrium. So uh, what we do uh, in this, we actually measure the pressure of the internal jugular vein. So that is approximately equal to the pressure of the right atrium. Now uh, can we measure the pressure of the external jugular vein also because that also drains into the right atrium. Uh, no, because uh, external jugular vein uh, may be compressed by fascia or may get compressed by the clavicle. So it gives the wrong value of the uh, central venous pressure. So uh, um, from where the internal jugular vein passes, the internal jugular vein passes behind the mastoid process and enters into the neck. It passes behind the sternocleidomastoid muscle and then it enters into the thorax. Uh, in between the clavicular and external head of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. So here uh, what is the normal value of the central venous pressure? So normal value of central venous pressure or jugular venous pressure is less than 7 millimeter of mercury or less than uh, 9 centimeter of water. So how do we measure? Actually uh, we measure the vertical height from the external angle. So here we can see in this diagram, here the internal jugular vein is passing behind the, it is coming from the skull and here it is passing behind, uh, behind the sternocleidomastoid muscle and it is entering into the thorax. Now uh, we can see that the pressure here, the, when the patient is lying at the 45 degrees, we can measure the height of the uh, wave which is visible in the internal jugular vein and we can measure this vertical height from this uh, from this level to the external angle. So this is vertical height and now this external angle is about 5 centimeters from the right atrium. So we have to add 5 centimeters in that. So that, this height plus 5 centimeters. So let us see in our subject. Uh, so here we can see uh, what, are the, what are the prerequisite. We make our patient to lie at about 45 degrees and then we ask him to turn his head to the opposite side. And now we can see this is the sternocleidomastoid muscle. And now it should be clear that uh, normally in normal subjects this uh, internal jugular vein, waves of the internal jugular veins are not visible in normal subject. So it is not visible in my subject but in case if it is raised then it is visible okay so suppose if it is visible at this area okay it is more visible than palpable so in case if it is visible in this area then we should put a scale a horizontal scale horizontal to the floor a scale uh, at this point of the wave suppose this is the uppermost oscillation of the this is suppose this is the uppermost oscillation of the internal jugular vein. We put a scale on this horizontal scale on this and then from the external angle. Now what is external angle? Here it is external angle. Here we can see this is external angle. So external angle is the junction of the manubrium and body of the sternum. So this is external angle where the second costal cartilage is attached. So we put a vertical scale on the external angle and horizontal scale on the area where the oscillation is visible. So uh, let us see how to see that. So this is how we have to put two scales and now we have to measure this distance. So this distance is 5 centimeters here. So this distance is 5 centimeters. Here I am assuming that it is visible but here it is actually it is not visible in my subject. He is a normal subject. So uh, we must know what are the causes what are the causes when uh, central venous pressure is raised? So uh, whenever there will be any condition in which right side of the heart failure is there, uh, like uh, when uh, right ventricular dilatation is there or right side of heart failure is there because of any pulmonary conditions like uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases or pulmonary embolism that leads to the right sided heart failure, That's le that leads to the increase in the jugular venous pressure. So in that case only we can see the jugular waves. Uh, let us see what are the normal wave forms of the uh, jugular venous uh, jugular vein. So here we can see there are three waves A, C and B waves 
although c is very small wave mostly it is not visible so a c and b three waves are there and two descents are there x and y so positive waves show the increased pressure in the right atrium and negative waves show the decreased pressure in the right atrium now a wave is because of atrial contraction so we know that during atrial contraction there is increased pressure in the right atrium so increased jugular venous pressure c wave is because of the bulging of the tricuspid valve into the right atrium during ventricular during iso uh, iso volumetric ventricular contraction and v wave is because of when there is drainage of the blood uh, from the vena cava into the right atrium that also leads to the increase uh, pressure in the right atrium so uh, i show you how i remember uh, this i have this is atrium okay this is tricuspid valve and these are the vena cavas so a wave is because of atrial contraction c wave is because of bulging of the tricuspid valve into the atrium okay and v wave is due to drainage of the uh, vena cava into the atrium so all these uh, three uh, factors will lead to the increased pressure in the right atrium or increase uh, jugular venous pressure now x and y descent two descents are there so x x uh, descent is because of this tricuspid valve ring goes to the original position so that leads to the decrease pressure in the right atria and y descent is because of opening of this tricuspid valve so whenever there is opening of this valve there is this second descent y decrease in pressure in the right atrium so this is the uh, causes of the these three waves and two descents now uh, there are some conditions in which a wave is absent like whenever there is atrial fibrillation obviously the contraction is not that forceful so a wave may be absent uh, now uh, there are some conditions like uh, pulmonary hypertension or tricuspid stenosis in which right atrium has to contract little more forcefully okay so that leads to the giant a waves now canon a waves canon a waves are very large waves which are produced when the right atrium is contracting against the closed tricuspid valve so that produces the produces the canon a waves okay now a uh, examiner may ask you differences how will you differentiate between the carotid pulses and jugular venous pulses so for that we know that carotid pulses are more easily palpable the carotid pulses are not visible and jugular venous pulses are more easily visible okay so and jugular uh, venous pulses have two waves at least two waves visible in carotid pulse there is one wave only and a uh, jugular venous pulse varies with the respiration how uh, during inspiration there is decrease intrathoracic pressure so that leads to decrease in the jvp also but there is no change in the carotid uh, uh, artery pulses with the respiration and jugular venous pulse varies with the position of the patient but carotid pulse do not vary and also if we put pressure on the abdomen there is change in the jugular venous pulse so let us see what is that that is called as abdominal jugular reflex so when we put pressure at the abdomen especially at the right hypochondrium there is increase in the jugular venous pressure here it is not visible but when it is visible it will be increased okay so this is called as abdominal jugular reflex but it is not th there in case of carotid artery pulsations now uh there is one more term kusumol sign so what is kusumol sign uh, normally whenever there is inspiration there is decrease in the jugular venous pressure because of decrease in the intrathoracic pressure but whenever there is constructive pericarditis or cardiac tamponade there is paradoxical increase in the jvp during inspiration so this is called as kusumol sign why this occurs because we know that in constructive pericarditis now the blood cannot be accumulated in that amount so there will be decrease in the uh, there will be increase in the jvp during inspiration so this is kissmol sign so this was all about the jugular venous pressure and its measurement thank you